Hello and welcome to the show. We are back on GTA 5. Yes, it is time. It is time for another Survive the Hunt. My goal is simple. There are no challenges, there is no particular destinations and so on in mind. I have got to try and survive for 24 hours. It is exactly 8.23. 8.24. Maybe we'll go at half past eight. My aim is to survive for 24 hours while this group of people will be hunting me down. Here's the catch. There is no map. There is no name over players whatsoever. So they've got to try and spot me. I can go sneaky. I can go incognito in any way I see fit. I get a two minute head start here as we will try and run away. In I could nick that. I'm not going to. I mean, they'd struggle to stop it, however, <laughs> you know, <laughs> quite obvious. Um, now, there are various rules. If you've seen one of these before, you will know them. If not, I shall run them through briefly. Essentially, the teams, the team giving chase are limited by their cars. They're not allowed to go into supercars and sports cars, uh, just so that we can have a little bit more. I, well, basically, I'm massively outnumbered here, so we kind of balance it with that uh, tweak. They're also limited by their guns. They're only allowed to use basic pistols and shotguns. No automatic pistols, no auto shotguns, and certainly no boopy gun. The boopy gun is awesome and everything, don't get me wrong. However, uh, <laughs> oh, it's not allowed. I could stay in my Yogi. Let's face it, I'm not going to. It's a silly thing to do that, because it's a bright orange yogi that will... I mean, it's a beacon, is essentially what it is. My goal at the moment is in this first two minutes, run as far away as I bloody can. In fact, my goal is to get to a hairdresser's. The reason is simple, change the look of my character. Uh, my character is, I say quite distinctive, I've used pretty much the same outfit for ages. Like, absolute ages. I just like, I like, I like the suit and tie. Um, I did have a very quick look at the map before we got going. I think I know where I can go to get to a hairdresser's. If, I, if not, we might be in trouble. Uh, I do, luckily, have a way that I can go through um, clothes here. I think if I go into this, is it? Um, I can change my character's appearance from this menu. That's not quite what I was hoping for. Um, I can't change it while I'm in the car, but we will, we will change that at some point along the way. Because, uh, yeah, I mean, I don't want to be... Ooh, I don't want to be out here uh, <laughs> for too long. I think that was a hedge. So down one of these roads, if I remembered correctly. Although, now I'm now I'm not so sure. The, the paranoia is going to begin pretty soon. The paranoia is going to begin pretty bloody soon. Oh, I'm not actually sure which one it is. Uh, we might have to just abandon the thought of uh, hairdressers and just park up our car. I think it was it's somewhere around there. However, I've not seen, like, a nice... Uh, a nice, easy sort of a thing. I've got to get a new car, basically. This is this is too obvious. I, I, I don't know. Theoretically, theoretically, I could go on foot. It has been tried before. I have survived for a while before. Uh, sneaking to, what's that? Plane? Sure. You know what? Let's go for that. Uh, <laughs> it has been tried before, the on-foot approach. Fuck. <laughs> Uh, well, that's not supposed to be how it goes, um, but there we go. I will take that. Uh, <laughs> very unsporting, that is. Um, I've now got to try and not uh, get the police. I think, actually, if you kill a mugger... Oh, we do get the police. Of course we do. Uh, bloody hell. Let's go and... Uh, Let's go and call Lester, shall we? And get, the, get rid of the police. I don't want the police getting involved here, of course. Um... As that will be a dead giveaway. Now that does. Now there is a timer, of course, on this. It's not ideal, an ideal thing to have to deal with. Maybe actually, let's go grab that coquette. It looks like a good choice of car for me here. Uh, it is fast. It is going to be able to outrun everything. Um, so yeah, we will nick the coquette. We still got. I mean, they've. Oh, get the doors closed. I want to nick a car from a person rather than a car uh, from a oh, parked area. Oh, for God's sake. Literally just run straight in front of my bloody car, haven't they? Okay, we've got a new plan. We'll get a new plan here. We've got to dive into a car park and hope that there is something good up the top of this. <laughs> this is not a good start. We're rusty. Uh, survive the hunt uh, knowledge is very, very rusty. The team chasing us may well have a helicopter up in the air. I don't know whether they will yet or not. Um, I'm, go I'm going for a car park for a safe changeover, basically. 
going for a car park for a safe changeover. Thankfully, this ballista was left um, open, which is nice. <sighs> now we have got to get out of the car park. This is actually a difficult bit because AIs very rarely, they do leave car parks, they very rarely leave car parks. Uh, we've, the start of this hunt has not gone particularly well. The good news for me, actually, is this car park spits us out straight onto the road, which is something. And, well, here we go. We are now in the in the hunt. Now, I'm, okay, I don't have to worry about brake lights, I guess, here. In fact, I can't. I'm trying to... I have to hold a little bit of gas, don't you? And they, it's very, very fiddly to do that. Honestly, the chances of me ending up just putting on reverse lights or something is... is yeah, <laughs> it's almost not worth it. It's almost not worth it going for that one. Um, now, we're going to be keeping an eye out for just about everything. The blister is not a bad car for this, I will say. The blister is not a bad car for this whatsoever. Is that a person or a dumb AI? No, that's just a dumb AI. This is what makes life really difficult for us, for me even, is, is that an AI freaking out? And I'm pretty sure that was. I'm pretty sure that was just an AI that had no bloody clue what was going on. Uh, or is it a person that's looking around for me? I mean, I'm kind of tempted. Oh, that was a terrible corner by me. I'm kind of tempted just to sit and follow this FQ2 for a little while. As I said, I have no real goal other than... Okay, I'm not going to follow the FQ2 because I want to go straight on. Oh, I don't want an AI car behind me. This is one of the big giveaways that we have to worry about. The AIs don't like sitting behind a person. Uh, a human car parks at a traffic light will piss off the AI car. They don't, they don't know how to deal with a player being stopped, basically. And although that one there is actually playing nicely for a change. They're not pratting around. They're not crashing into us. My heart is, uh, is, is, is a going. Um, why is that traffic light letting... I'm confused by these traffic lights. Why is there a green that way and no green for us? What the traffic light hell is that? Uh, <laughs> I don't understand what's going on with the traffic lights here. Why would you be going... Well, I don't know why it wouldn't let us go the other directions if it was letting somebody go. But, either way, it is what it is. Uh, we are okay through all of this. Now, I am actually getting a little bit close to the limit of my area. I think I'm allowed to turn this way on a red light, but... <laughs> Truth is, American street law, most of us won't have a bloody clue, because I'm pretty sure everyone in this is English. Or European, at least, I should say. So, yeah, the, the people chasing won't know. Um, regardless. Also, the traffic lights are completely different on everybody's screen anyway, so it doesn't matter all that much. I'm currently just going around in a circle at the moment. Yeah, what I see as a traffic light is not what everybody else sees, so... Well, sometimes. I mean, I've got to blend in with what the AI cars are doing, because they will be synced for everybody, of course. Um, is that a player? Yeah, that's a player. That's a blacked-out G-Wagon. That is the first sign of a person. <laughs> that is the first sign of a person. A blacked out G-Wagon has gone shooting past, and that was definitely a player there as well. Freaked out that junction. Ooh. Okay. I don't want to be over here. I mean, there's no real safe place. There are 15 or so people trying to hunt us down. There is no safe places around here. I can't believe I ended up with a ballista again. The coquette was pro- <sighs> The thing with the coquette is, or the thing with any supercar, yeah, it's great. You've got so much speed, and well, grip and whatnot at your disposal for when the chase begins. Let's face it, we're not going to go 24 hours. I mean, it would be amazing if I did go 24 hours without a chase. <laughs> it's not It's not going to happen, unfortunately. There is that G-Wagon again. Uh, so I mean, prob what they'll probably end up doing, let's face it, sensible thing, you kind of each head to your own little area of the city and try and patrol that area. And of course, it's going to take me a while to get out of an area because, well, I'm abiding traffic laws here. I'm trying to drive sensibly. Uh, so, yeah, okay. <laughs> so, second time seeing a turquoise grizzly, you kind of got to pay attention. Uh, there are various ways that they can try and hunt me down. We've seen all sorts done in the past. They can try and blend in with traffic themselves, not give themselves away. It is possible. Uh, however, there is an inherent difficulty with that. You don't actually cover very much ground. You see how slowly I'm travelling around this city here. Uh, you just don't cover much ground doing that. Uh, so, yeah, it'll be difficult for me to spot you, however, difficult for me to spot them, however, they just won't cover the distance required to potentially catch me. Um, or you blares around the city very, very obviously. You can't check every car, but you cover distance in case you spot something shenanigansy going on. That is one way to do it. Um, 
we've got to check this way. There is nothing around, actually, which is nice. Of course, there is the just outright sheer luck. Uh, we've had cars before just drive into the side of me without realising, and sometimes you have to pretend uh, to be an AI. Uh, it's not the easiest of things to do. It really isn't the easiest of things to do. Um, now, I was heading down this way. I have a feeling... I had a feeling there was a hairdresser somewhere. That's got to be a player. Police car without the lights on. That does not happen outside of a player car, I wouldn't have thought. Well, I guess it's tell a lie. Unless there was a police called to something and was leaving and I just happened to be in the vicinity. That is possible. Unlikely, but it is possible. Uh, that looks like a player behind me. Yeah, that'll be a player behind me. Now, they may not have clocked my car. Possibly. We'll have to wait and see on that one. Surprised they wouldn't be trying something uh, at this moment in time. It might uh, say it might. I presume it's got to be a player. Yeah, okay, so that AI there is uh, having a fun time. Hmm. Now, I would suspect, I would suspect that they would, I mean, we just went through what was a red light. Yeah, okay, so they're, they're planning something. I'm going to try and go. So my plan here is pretty simple. Uh, I've gone around a corner. They can't see where I've gone. Uh, now, my plan is if I can get free from them quickly, I can maybe ditch the car. Like if I can just get a few corners ahead, that's all I need, is to be a few corners ahead, and they will struggle to keep a line of sight on me. Uh, that is the idea here, at least. Uh, now... Oh, they probably, if they didn't f see me go directly that way, they will probably struggle to keep a line of sight on me there. That was the plan. Uh, <laughs> we have, the, the, the issue you have is when I start doing that, is that uh, if any, there's anybody else around even vaguely close, they will see what I'm doing. There will be somebody around to see what I'm doing. And the other issue I've got going down this way is it's great in that it's probably not going to be much thought Oh, no, don't do that. Uh, <laughs> thanks, game. It's probably not going to be much thought uh, that I will have gone down a storm drain. Um, but, of course, if I leave this area... It's a bloody big giveaway. Did anything see us? Oh, I don't know. Did anything see us go down here? Is that a helicopter I hear? No, I think I just hear generic wind noise. I think that's all we hear going on here. Uh, now the blister is burnt, pretty much. The blister is is burnt. Um, I'm gonna turn my TV up. <laughs> Can I turn the TV up? Just it's, it's a little dangerous being sat here. There is no doubt about that. It is a little dangerous being sat here. Now I have another idea. Of course, uh, sneaking too. I don't want to have a gun out just in case there's someone around. That's just an AI. Okay. Okay. Where have we come out? Okay. I hear shenanigans. Doesn't mean much. Doesn't mean too much. Now, I am close to a car park. That's something, at least. Don't want a Regina. Christ, that's going to put me in a lot of trouble if we go for that one. Um, definitely don't want a Regina. So, there is a car park that we can head towards. Uh, which we will go to if needed. That Regina was just an AI driving wonky. And now we just walk. I'm, I could cut up there. I'm not going to. Uh, there is there is no way I want to do that. <sighs> okay, that was the first, the first small chase. The first small chase. Now, I don't know... I don't know, yeah, how many players there were around in that vicinity. Don't know how many players there were uh, about there. The police car was definitely... Definitely susp. Pretty sure the, the ballista was trying to hang back to not look susp, uh, but didn't work, because in the end that gave me away completely. Um, I have a feeling that was the same car. I have a feeling that was. There's no cars in that car park. If it was, they've gone to get out somewhere else. Now, of course... Oh, yeah, okay, so there is certainly some people around here. Um, now, if they have got out of their vehicles, 
that makes it more difficult to track me, but of course they then can they can then be armed, which is potentially problematic. I don't know. Uh, I don't know whether that was a normal policeman or not. Christ, there was a brown car there that looked mighty suspicious as well. And I might have been well enough hidden in the trees uh, that we can get away with this. I hear sirens going on. Um, that is them. That is them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> that is a person. Uh, right. Down. Okay, person is gone. The problem is now we are in a very, very, very precarious position. I have an idea. This is a dumb idea. This idea has never worked in the history of ideas. But let's go for it. I'm on a bike! There is a reason why we don't go for a bike in Survive the Hunt. There is a bloody good reason why we don't go for a bike in Survive the Hunt. Because, well, you get run over, you are done for. I'm also going to be on a bike while I'm trying to make a phone call here. Uh... <laughs> Uh, Lester, buddy, we're in trouble here. We are in trouble. Uh, Lester, Lester, I require assistance here. I'm on a bike. I'm being chased by the fuzz. Woo! Uh, hey, could we remove wanted level, please? Whoa, that's not a button I wanted to ever press. Um, right. Have we? I don't know if we've got anybody hanging around us. We did actually get pretty well away from that, and the bike is brilliant for covering distance. Hell, the bike's going to get us to the other side of the map if I can do this right. The issue? Well, if there's anybody in sight at the moment, they are going to see a bike herring around like a lunatic. Uh, you will probably see, but hopefully, if I don't crash, I'm going to be changing direction. I'm going to be trying to keep breaking a line of sight of anybody in case. Just in case. I can't afford to double back on myself. Um, double back on myself would be a death sentence. We know this from previous Survive the Hunts. Um... I had a feeling I saw a car somewhere behind, but again, it could just be a generic blacked out, or it could just be a generic, you know, like a black fugitive or something. Looks like a scary blacked out pursuit vehicle, but, you know, just the lods are, are not quite loaded in from a distance and all that sort of thing. Uh, the bike, I think the bike was the best call from where we were. Oh, I won't, I won't stay on it. We know the dangers of a bike. Hell, that sort of crash there could fling me off. Um, nothing will outturn me. Hell, having an emergency bike is probably the best thing for us. I want to get up in the hills, really. Um, I feel like that's probably the way to go here. Um, maybe. Maybe up into the hills is the way to go here. Problem is, if there are people around. If there are people around with with cars. Oh, we are likely to find wealthier people. We are likely to find supercars up here, which I would like. For, you know, the inevitable all hell breaking loose. Oop. Uh, it's a rapid GT. Ooh. Well, oh, that's going to be very obvious, though. I mean, that's like a just... Uh, the 9F is a very big giveaway. Uh, have we got... Actually, it would be a little bit further away, probably. A little bit further up in the hills, maybe. Let's go up this road. Yeah, we're going to go up to the top of the... Top of the hills. Haven't seen a helicopter around. I was wondering whether we might see them go for a chopper uh, route. Because, let's face it, that is about the only thing that would be able to keep up with a bike. If they had a helicopter... Wouldn't be the worst thing for me. There are ways to lose them, especially using tunnels, bridges, car parks, and that sort of shenanigans. Uh, I would go for that sort of uh, sort of route. But yeah, we haven't seen one. And helicopters are very helicopters are one of those things that if if timed right, if they work, amazing. However, they are unreliable. They are unreliable at working. Now I kind of want somewhere safe to change car uh, now. What about you? You're... Okay, this is actually a pretty good bet. Fugitive. It's not a supercar, but the Fugitive is, at least, a more incognito vehicle. We will leave the bike. <sighs> and we are done. Okay. Chase number two completed. I heard something fast sounding. Thought I heard something. Maybe it's just me. <laughs> Maybe it's just I'm, I'm, I'm not used to having uh, GTA is one of the quietest, most annoying games uh, when it comes to volume levels. It's a weird thing, uh, especially because things like like background noise and uh, like the whoosh from Slipstreams. Yeah, I think it's actually just me. Don't worry, I'm I'm losing my mind a little bit. I'm losing my mind. I just heard a growl from the fugitive. Actually, quite a nice sounding car, really. Heard a growl from the fugitive, and that got me scared. Uh, <laughs> Let's go this way. I like this way. This way looks fun. 
This way looks safe, I think, is the better way of putting it. It doesn't look fun. It looks maximum safeage. It's not very often that I have to uh, use that as a important... Oh, it looks maximum safeage. It is going slightly out of where I should be going. <laughs> maximum safeage has its own problem in that I am now going away from the play area, essentially. Uh, we are... Uh, no, no, it... Oh, is this road? This isn't the road I thought I was on. Never mind, I think we're okay. This is literally the edge of my area. I think we're driving along. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to just drop back in the other side. I know where we're going now. That's cool. Right, happy days. God knows what they, what they saw, how they saw me. I mean, they may have just spotted my character through a windscreen somewhere. If... If they were going slow enough to pay attention, hell, I wasn't paying attention to a black blister. I probably wouldn't pay any attention to it. A car driving normally is not one that uh, oh, that I can pay attention to very easily. So, there we go. Uh, we're going to have to try and just go for this. I need to get, I need to get going. I need to get going back into the city now. Oh, time wise, time wise, it's going okay. It's going okay. I mean, I've never survived the 24 hours. I got close a few times, but uh, yeah, we've never survived the full 24 hours here. I, it's so tough. It's so tough. We've only killed one chaser as well. We've only taken one person. Once they are killed, that is them out of the game. They can no longer take part in the pursuit, whether it be scouting or anything. Unfortunately, yeah, they are. They are done. They are out of it. What is that car? No, I think that's just a normal AI vehicle. It is nothing special. I mean, yeah, we are basically on the outs, the very outer limit of our, our area over there. That is an AI doing a dumb thing. See, that's what I mean about AIs doing dumb things. Uh, you're never sure if it's a player or an AI being dopey. I do like being able to follow an AI car. That gives me a little bit more confidence. Uh, I think the reason being is people are likely to look at the car that's first in the queue. More often than not. Uh, do I want to go kind of don't actually want to go that way. I think we're going to go up here now. This is where things are going to get a little dicey. Uh, there is a siren, which is generally... Oh, don't put on the reverse lights. That's even bigger way than no lights. Uh, that is a police car heading... No, that is actual, an actual... Oh, I've got... When did I get a wanted level? Oh, piss. That's not good. Uh, well, it looks like the police... Is If we could turn off the police, that would be lovely. I don't know when. I guess... I, I stole a car, and that gave the uh, police police a uh, wanted level on me. Okay, my well, there goes another perfectly good car. Unfortunately, I think that's given a... <laughs> God damn police. They have given us away, because that is going to be a car that I probably don't want to have to deal with. Um, unfortunately, they're in a coquette, which they really shouldn't be, but... Uh, there we go. Let's see what the coquette can do. We're back down here trying to shake them again. This is not really where I wanted to be going to try and shake somebody, especially not up against a coquette, because we know that that's a good, we know that that's a good fast car. Um, all right, let's duck around here. Um, I think the coquette's crashed somewhere. Now, the, one of the things I do, or I have done quite a few times in the past, is in my haste to get away, sort of too quickly abandon a car. Yeah, the coquette is still still following us. Uh, where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go here? Um, I need to lose that coquette quickly. Uh, the problem is, of course, now they know roughly where I am. They're going to be bringing more and more people into this into this fight. On the motorway, it's probably not a good idea, actually. Um, I might try something brave. It's a little bit... Uh, a little bit ambitious, possibly. We're going to play. We're going to play funny buggers with the uh, central reservation stuff. That could be interesting. Much run into oncoming traffic. I've got to try and make that coquette. Really, I've got to try and make the coquette crash if I can. Also, another thing I've got to try and do is make him struggle to give directions to the rest of the team. If they can't find us, then it's just a one v one, and they'll struggle to stop me in a one v one. If they do find us, then that's going to be uh, that going to make it a lot more difficult. I can shake one car. Three or four, not so easy. Coquette's binned it somewhere. Uh, I don't know if he went round fully. It looks like he did. Okay, now we've re this is where this is what matters for me here. If we can, I've got a really dumb idea that might just work. Ah, oh, the coquette's close enough. Crap! If that coquette was a little further away, that could have worked really well. Uh, 
Cockette was a little further away. That could have worked amazingly well. Uh, right, let's go around that. Let's... Uh, <laughs> Ah, he's got too much grip for me. This is the problem, and this is where the issue with not having a supercar is, or a sports car is, although he has actually gone and spun out. Uh, whoop, let's go down this way again. I need him to make a bigger mistake. That's what I'm trying to do at the moment, is just make him spin or hit a lamppost or just crash anywhere. Anywhere he hits something is uh, bad news. Now that's another one joining in the chase. I see the yellow headlights flash past. Oh, big slide from me. I, I mean, it's kind of almost a more high-pressure thing for me, because if I make a mistake, my day is done. Almost. Not every time, but almost. Uh, if they make a mistake, well, maybe another car can take over for the pursuit and so on. So, yeah, I can't afford any mistakes. I can't really afford a slow downy bush, if I'm honest. That's a little bit inconvenient, quite frankly. Uh, let's duck in here. Uh, let's see if they know what way I've gone through here. Hell, let's see if I know what way I've gone through here. Um, excuse me. Oh, typical. I came out right bloody by one of them. God damn it, I was trying to be clever. It didn't work. Now there's a lot of them following me. Uh, we need... Oh, that was one of them. They've actually blocked themselves in. That's kind of helpful. We're in trouble, folks. We are in a lot of trouble. This is going to have to be... It has all started from the bloody police car. Uh, we are going to have to... Oh, little laggy vehicle. We've actually pulled a really, really good gap to a lot of them there. Uh, we pulled a very, very good gap to a lot of them there. Oh, let's get up here. I don't know whether they would have seen that. Surely they must have done. Uh, I mean, we've really, really pulled some gap there. Now, I've got no headlights, which is a massive giveaway in the dead of night. That is not what you want at all. Um, I think I've just got to keep my foot down now. There is a choppers. There are choppers up in the air. I don't know whether they're coming for me. I don't know whether they're AI choppers. I, ju I just don't know at this point in time. Whose chopper is what? Ooh, idea. Dumb idea, but could work. We're back around this part again. Don't know if anything's fo- I still don't- I don't think anything is following. I think they lost me. Now, I have done this in the past, and if there is a helicopter following, good luck now, my friend. Because uh, no one really knows the subway network here. There are no rules about me going into tunnels. Well, I'm not allowed to sit and park down here. Mostly because it would make for a crappy video. Uh, there is no rules about me running down here until I get to a subway station and then climb out. This car is spent. There is no use to this car anymore. Um, it is scraped up. The front, the headlights are gone. Hell, they're also all looking for a black fugitive. So, actually, to be fair, if I found a black fugitive, it wouldn't be the worst thing in existence. Because, I mean, they're looking for a beat up one. They're not actually looking for a uh, pristine condition one. Oh, I don't know what happened to them. They all just got a bit confused. They all just got a bit confused somewhere and couldn't couldn't keep up. I, I made a right turn somewhere and we got out of that. Christ. Oh, that was uh, sketchy. That was really sketchy. Damn police car. I can't believe a police car gave us away. Now, I don't know. The, the downside with doing what I've just done is I have no idea where I'm coming out. And if they are around that area where we were in that last pursuit, uh, this could be... Are we at the airport? Okay. I mean, this is not the best place I've ever been in. However, we are by a car park, so at least there is a car. We're not undercover, uh, which I would have preferred, quite frankly. And our car, the car is crap. I hear a helicopter. Although we are by the airport, let's face it, we probably hear a helicopter. Uh, let's just go and yoink the car. Okay, there, there is a helicopter. Oh, car. Oh, don't tell me you're a bloody simian car or something. Um, that would be very, very inconvenient if you were. Shush! 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 We've got another wanted level. Christ, I'm so, I've never had so many wanted levels in a bloody Survive the Hunt. Uh, whoa! That's a policeman. Uh, remove wanted level, please. Uh, bloody hell. Okay, that actually nearly killed us. Oh, the coquette was there. Well, I mean, we found the coquette. Do, are the bullet holes obvious? Uh, there's one in the back of the car. I mean, I've got bigger problems, let's face it. To be fair, if I get in a chase, I've got bigger problems. Full stop. Our car is not great. The apostrophe uh, is not the best getaway car. I didn't actually realise there were policemen in the subways. Uh, that was my stupid... There are police cars buzzing around, but that could well be for the hunters. How are we doing for time? It's almost midnight. 
It's almost midnight. We've got to get to 8.30. That's what we are looking for here. 8.30 is where we need to live. I mean, if we get in another big chase and can just keep going, I'd be okay with that. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I get, the advantage I have currently is that it is night, which makes bullet holes a lot more... Ah, there is actually quite an obvious bullet hole on that back corner. I could do with ditching this car, but I need to do it safely. And it's almost like I'm better, because a quick glance, you might not notice that bullet hole. You would notice me getting out and nicking a car. Um, I can't get, the airport's far too risky. There are too many police that want to spot me nicking a car. Where's the closest multi-story? That is the question. Again, multi-stories are your safest bet. Multi-stories are by far and away your safest bet. That's an AI car behind me as well, um, which is really annoying kind of want to overtake the car. The car ahead actually doesn't, really doesn't want to go very fast. It'd be funny if it was a player trying to back me up until backup got here. I doubt it is a player, uh, particularly. Okay, I've got two big bullet holes in my car now. I was going to say, I doubted, I doubted we were going to get away with just little dinks on like the underside or something, but uh, you know, it's worth a hope, really. What did the blister I heard a despawn. It'd be funny if my grey blister was still down the bottom there. Um... That banana looks like it might be a person. I would doubt that would be a random AI car. Looks... Although, would you want a banana as a chaser? Possibly. Uh, it looks a little bit suspicious, shall we say. Although it has stopped at the traffic lights. Uh, that is a player car who did not spot the bullet holes in my vehicle. I think that is just a random AI car. Could get a cement mixer. It'd be funny. But uh, the downside, of course, of the cement mixer... I probably never look for it. However, you can only go certain areas of the city because a cement mixer would never be found elsewhere and then they would look at it. If they do see you, you're done for. Hell, my fugitive was not the best getaway car, but it worked. Cement mixer? Yeah, you ain't hiding that one. Cement mixer, you are not hiding that one anywhere inside the city. The G-Wagon is still circulating this area. <laughs> oh, I really, really, really need to get out of here. I desperately, desperately need to get out of here. What is that FQ2 doing? Go, my friend. Go, 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 go. Come on, the lights are green. Come on, the lights are green. Ah. Stuck in traffic. We're going to get murdered at some point. I could have done with you at least going. I'm pretty sure you're an AI just being dopey. Um. I don't want lights. I don't want lights on my bullet holes. That is a concern. Don't want lights on my bullet holes. Because, uh, again, <laughs> truth is, though, if you are looking close enough to spot the bullet holes in my car, you're probably going to spot the driver. You're probably going to recognise it as me. So, there is that to consider here. Now, I could be very brave and go on foot. It is something that we've never seen quite work. Um, I've done it for little bits, but it has never worked for any extended periods of time. Before we get daylight, I need a new car. Uh, night... I can blag it. That car behind... That car behind is a person. Now, what do we do here? What on earth do we do here? Do they know I am here? That is the question. got an idea but it might or might not work so I'm hoping they were just behind the crest of the hill for me to do that uh, this is risky I'll be honest this is not a massively safe move however I feel like if that's a per well we know they're a person AI would never flash the lights like that um, so I feel like I'm safe to go for that I say I'm safer I'm safer to do that when the opportunity arises they're trying to blend into traffic it's fair enough that's fair enough, but when I spot an opportunity such as that one, I'm going to absolutely bolt. And there is no way I'm going to want to sit around. Now, I'm not going to let up either, because I think... Now, I said going back on myself was bloody dangerous, and it is. However, I have a feeling that there were was a car giving chase. I've got to follow an FQ2. I saw something that looked like a car giving chase further back. If it was a car giving chase, then this might have worked to shake them. Possibly. I don't know, really. Uh, we are at the point where I don't know. I think it has worked, because that's a, a 
That's that's two player cars have just crashed into one another. <laughs> oh, he's still alive. How the bloody hell are we alive? That was sketchy as anything. But that, that was why I bolted when I did. Because I couldn't let them get enough cars down here to help. I couldn't let them get enough cars down here to help. I had to shake them, but we have to get back blending in to traffic quickly. We can't spend too long running because well, we would have run into them and that would just continue the chase. So you've got to bide your time. You've got to play it carefully. It's <sighs> sketchy. That's a bloody player car as well, isn't it? That one behind us, it hasn't got any lights on it. Then those are all smashed up at the front. So that's going to be... Oh, I think the AI have crashed into it. So that's, I mean, that kind of helps us. It's put a car between us and them. We're going to have to go for another bolt. I really need to get rid of a car with bullet holes in the back of it, but I haven't had an opportunity to even contemplate that yet. Um, oh, that Regina. I was looking back. The Regina got in the way. Now I'm definitely going to have to go. Uh, my, my golden opportunity didn't quite fall because it wasn't quite technical enough there. In fact, I think there was more than one of them. Yeah, as I sorted something iffy going on behind us. There's a ballista that is also a player vehicle. Right, the chase is afoot again. I just can't break far enough away. I can get a little moment. I can get a momentary rest bite, but it's no more than that, which is the tough part. There's an abandoned ballista down here. Uh, can we get them to trip over one another again? I think that's kind of what got me away last time. They fell over one another trying to catch me, and... That allowed me to p break that line of sight. Once you break the line of sight, well, they've got to kind of start again. They know the rough area. Uh, this car is doing okay, but if I if it was a much better car, I would stand a much better chance. Funnily enough, oh my van! Hey, <laughs> found the Yogi again. Good old Yogi. I mean, it would be fun to finish in the Yogi, but that's certainly not a risk I'm willing to take. I don't know if that was a player or whether that was an AI car. It was certainly shifting. Or it looked like it was shifting. Um, are we going to... Oh, there's a lot of traffic here. We're bouncing, we're spinning, we've nearly crashed ourselves. I think that was a player car, you know. I think the lock-up of the brakes was uh, suggesting it might have been a player car. Certainly still giving us... Certainly there's a few, there's at least two of them behind me. Yeah, the white blister is one of them here. The, blist the blisters are actually a good car for this. They are fast enough to uh, give you some grief if you're in a normal car. There's three vehicles that are on us. We didn't quite break the, the line of sight for the headlight loose car. That's the word I'm looking for right here. Um, let's grab some brakes down here. What is the time? What is the time? It's 3am. Could I really keep this chase? I don't think I could keep this chase up for long enough. I'm going to make a mistake. Christ, I think something nearly wiped the back of us out there. I saw that. Bloody hell, that got close if that's what I thought it was. Um, oh, that was a silly manoeuvre. Why did I do that one? Oh, they're still on me. Okay, they're not quite. I almost got it. Almost got far enough away. Can't go down a straight. I can't afford to press around in a straight line. It's just too... I'd say it's too risky. It's, I'm too slow to do that, because that's a fugitive that's coming towards us. Right, we've got to get on the cornering again. Oh, not that way. Not that way. Oh! <laughs> Blister nearly got us. Blister nearly got us. Not quite. Overshot by quite a way. We're into the car park. Can I get any of them to spin out? No. Annoyingly not. We'll go past that. Can somebody else drive into the side of it? That would be fun, but not quite. We're again, we're going to weave around the car parks. I mean, it's, it's, this is once more about trying to make them have a mistake. Oh, there was somebody there ready. There was somebody there ready. Uh, oh, well, no one's got a gun out, apparently. It's going to go down as a, it's going to go as a fist fight. Can anybody get a gun out? I have a gun out. I got two of them. <laughs> it's too many. I tried to be too clever. I thought there were already. A, I thought there was only a couple of them still on me. Fair play. We almost bloody made it. We took out three along the way. It was uh, half past three uh, in the morning. We got close. We got close to it. Oh, I just couldn't shake. Couldn't shake the. Uh, if I'd had a better car, I'd say if I had a better car, maybe we could have done. Uh, I was trying to be too clever. I was trying to get, again, it was the use the car parks, break the line of sight, get one of them stuck, hope for the best. Didn't quite work, sadly. Um, yeah, once you're in that kill box, you're in trouble. I'd hoped I could have pinged clear, but t'was not to be. Ah, it was good. It was a good chase. We had some good runs. We had some good escapes, actually. We caused them a lot of grief. 
But uh, in the end, in the end, we couldn't quite do it. Uh, <laughs> that though is going to be it for this uh, for this video. Thank you all very much for watching, and until next time, a uh, goodbye. <laughs>